Hi, so in this example we have a brick being pushed with a force of magnitude 15 newtons in one direction. We're told that the coefficient of friction between the brick and the surface is 0.1, so therefore there's a friction force, there's no mention of any resistive force, any sort of drag resistance, so the only resistive force acting is the friction. Now, let's start by doing a free body diagram of the system. Always draw a free body diagram first. So we know the forward force that's causing the motion has a magnitude of 50 newtons. Now, the force that's resisting the motion is friction force, mu r. We have the weight, mg, 20 g, since the mass is 20, and we have a reaction force acting upwards. This is the full free body diagram of the system. This force is pushing the brick from here all the way to here, across a distance of 15 meters. We're told that the velocity at this point is equal to zero. The brick starts from rest. And we're simply asked to find the velocity after moving 15 meters. So the way we're going to solve this is we're going to use the work energy principle equation. And the work energy principle states that the change in kinetic energy of a system, a particle or rigid body, is equal to the work done by that particle. So, change in kinetic energy is half m, open bracket, v squared minus u squared, is equal to the work done is the integration of the net force, integration of F net with respect to X between your maximum displacement and your initial starting point. So in this particular case, if we go back to the free body diagram, we can see that the net force F net is always equals to forward forces minus backward forces. This brick is moving this way, so this way is positive. So therefore our 50 Newton is positive, the mu r is going backwards, so it's negative. Now, in this case, because the brick is not moving in the y direction, it means there's no acceleration in the y direction. So sum of f and y equals zero, which means upward forces equals downward forces. They have to balance each other because it's not moving up and down, so they must be equal. So r must equal 20 g. R does not always equal 20G. You have to look at how many forces you have in the Y direction. Here we only have R, we only have 20. Up, down. So R equals 20G. Up forces equals down forces. So, therefore, R is 20G. So that's going to equal 50. We're told in the question that the coefficient of friction is 0.1. And we've just found R is 20 Now let's expand this, we're going to have 50 minus 2g, because 0.1 times 20 is 2. Since g is 9.81, 50 minus 19.62, this gives you a net force value of 30.38 newtons. 30.38 newtons. It's very useful sometimes to just find the net force first before putting it into the equation. Even if you have an unknown, sometimes your unknown is actually here somewhere. But you continue and you leave your unknown, put it in there, integrate, and then find the unknown. In this case, however, our unknown is V. So we just find the number, put it straight into F now. So let's substitute into our work energy principle. So half, the mass is 20. We're looking for V squared, so we leave it as V minus 0 squared, the initial speed is 0, equals the integration. Now our upper limit is going to be 15, because that's the maximum distance. Lower limit is 0. The net force is 30.38 dx. We just found it. Remember, we haven't integrated yet. Let's simplify the left side. Half times 20 is 10. 0 is going to be 0. So we're going to have 10v squared is equal to when you integrate a constant, it becomes 30.38. We're integrating with respect to x, so 30.38x. 
between 15 and 0. So it's going to be 10v squared is equal to 30.38 multiplied by 15 minus, I'll do the full steps even though we don't need to, because in this case, the second distance is 0 anyway, multiplied by 0. That's the full integration. Now, this gives us 10 v squared is equal to 455.7. Therefore, v is equal to the square root of 455.7 all divided by 10 which will give you a value of 6.75 meters per second. So the speed of the brick after 50 meters of these forces acting is 6.75 meters per second.